Oh snap! Yes, uh, you guys don't understand how long I've been waiting for this. All right, I won't lie right now. I don't actually know what this game is about to hold. All right, I don't know if it's a whole storyline. Oh, there are two types of battle controls: simple and normal. Oh, okay. Um, first 80 days you receive a login bonus. Okay. That is cool. I, I never go online, by the way, because, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's going to be so many that just beat me. So, history. I'm assuming this is a story kind of thing. Special story. Free battle, online collection. Okay, so I'll probably go on free battle just for a sec. Naruto and Boruto Encyclopedia. What's this? What does this do? What is this? Is this? Is this? Well, I don't know what I'm looking at actually. I'm assuming you collect all these, which uh, would make a lot more sense. All right, we'll go on free battle because I'm. What I'm very curious about and I haven't looked at yet is how the uh, character roster is. Oh, they didn't change it. They didn't change it. Well, did they? A little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh! Oh, wait, does he go to... Oh my god, Kawaki's a character! Oh! Oh my god! Jigen's a character! No way! Oh my gosh! I am absolutely, like, heavy, heavy fangirling right now. Oh my gosh, yes! All right, I'll leave that for the time being and let's go and... I, I, I'm gonna assume that this is gonna be a pretty hefty game. Um, so I think I wanna go with the history. We'll go with the history and see where it takes us first. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be a fairly hefty game. I'm going to cut off my past. I won't let you do that! I learned everything from people of the past! It's because I had my friends that I was able to keep moving forward! They're what created the me that's here now! I'm never gonna let you cut that away! <laughs> then... You must know what you need to do. <laughs> A calamity has befallen the River of Time. An incident affecting the course of human history. That is to say, the erasure of history. A ninja world with no history is no ninja world. A ninja world with no history is devoid of humanity. The Book of Transcendence, which you composed long ago, now lies forgotten and unknown. History must be resurrected. Yet to accomplish this, we require a foundation whereupon its path will be retraced. Therefore, we shall weave this foundation together. We must once again set to paper the verses of this long-forgotten book. Let us begin.
Oh, okay, okay. In history mode, you'll be able to play through episodes to restore history. This mode is made up of eight chapters in total. You can start from whichever you prefer. That is sick. That is so good that you can just start wherever you wherever you feel like. Gaining training arc, chasing Sasuke, arrival of new age, Akatsuki Riot, the Five Kage Summit, Fourth Great Ninja War Part One, Fourth Great Ninja War Part Two, the Last Battle. Oh snap! Oh snap! All right, we're gonna uh, surely, you know, like, surely you gotta respect it, and we'll go straight from the start. That's the only way you can kind of deal with it, honestly. Oh my gosh! Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's go ahead. Let's watch this stuff. Within the Land of Fire lies the Hidden Leaf Village. It was once attacked by the Nine Tails, suffering massive damage and was a great loss of life. However, the village was remarkably restored, us hearing in a time of peace. Residing in the village was Naruto Uzumaki, a boy who set his sights on becoming the Hokage, or village head, while spending his days steeped in mischief at the Ninja Academy. I don't know why I struggle to say ninja. Naruto had the nine tails sealed inside of his body and was shunned by the villagers because of it. But among the handful of people who understood him was Iruka Umino, which I didn't know that was his last name actually, a teacher whose support propelled Naruto to graduate and something. Now accepted as a ninja, Naruto pressed forward with great enthusiasm down his own path. Fantastic man, fantastic. Can't believe, like, I can't believe I'm just absolutely so eager for this. Alright, survival of drill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it going to make us do the bell drill? It surely make us do the bell drill. Oh my god, it is. From here forth, history will be spun again. And so, we must grant him a central role. The circumstances of his birth were cruel. Within the Land of Fire, the being known as the Nine-Tailed Fox Spirit descended upon the Hidden Leaf Village and began a violent rampage. The fourth Hokage, leader of the village, sealed the wild spirit away into the body of Naruto Uzumaki, returning peace to the village for a time. With the spirit of the nine-tailed fox sealed within him as an infant, Naruto endured persecution from the villagers, and yet he thrived. Time passed, and Naruto grew into a young man with dreams of becoming Hokage himself one day. With his indomitable optimism, he soon found himself surrounded by close friends. Among them was a young man named Sasuke Uchiha of the Uchiha clan and Sakura Haruno. A Boo! Young man admired Sasuke. Boo! Boo! Sorry. It was these two shinobi who were assigned to Team 7 alongside Naruto after their graduation from the Ninja Academy. Undertaking countless missions together, they became especially close. But before they could embark on such missions, their team captain, Kakashi Hatake, had them carry out an exercise in order to test their abilities. This will be nothing like your previous training. It's a test to see what you can actually accomplish as a Genin. Well, the time has come. Let the survival session begin. Oh, yes. Yes. All right. Defeat Kakashi, unable to use secret technique or awakening. Okay. Cool. Of the 27 graduates, only nine will be accepted as Genny. And the chance that you'll fail is at least 66%. That can't be! What was the graduation test for anyway? Oh, that? Just to select potential Genin candidates. What? Uh, hey! Uh, well, I'm not gonna be weeded out! Yeah! Uh, 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 
Oh, well, that basically caught it. Ah, that's definitely what I meant to do. Let's go! Battle Result S. I wasn't testing your individual skills. It was your teamwork I was looking at. Teamwork? Shut up. In the ninja world, rules are important. It's true. But there's nothing worse than ninja who won't help their friends. And I think you three get that. Of course, I'll still need to train you a heck of a lot more. All right, the exercise is over. Team 7 starts its first mission tomorrow. Competing against Kakashi, these three young shinobi learned the potential power in teamwork. And so, Team 7 was officially formed. Despite holding different dreams and ambitions within their hearts, the three friends set off together on the true path of the ninja. And so began their journey on a path with no end. Oh, you, you can react. After clearing a main episode, you can share your reaction to that chapter. You can also share it responses, but what? You can... Levels? They have levels? Um... Yeah... Oh, look at that! What? This game's wild, what the heck? Goodness. Okay. Let's keep moving along, shall we? Officially appointed to Team 7, Naruto and his companions undertook a mission to escort dignitary of the Land of the Waves. On the way, were attacked by Zabuza, a rogue ninja of the Hidden Mist village. Team 7 faced immense danger, but Naruto and Sasuke worked together to unleash a counter. Oh my god, we're gonna, we're gonna fight Zabuza. We're gonna fight. Kakashi uses Sharing Gun to back Zabuza into a corner when suddenly a mysterious youth appeared out of nowhere to finish Zabuza off. The youth proclaimed he was a tracker hit ninja from the Hidden Mist Village who came to collect the body of a rogue ninja Zabuza, but in fact was Zabuza's companion, Haku. Resurrected by Haku from his apparent death, the desire to fight Kakashi again burned within Zabuza. Oh my god, we're gonna fight Zabuza! I think, I hope, I beg. Okay, come on. Now official members of Team 7, the three of them under- I just read this! A bridge was under construction to connect the impoverished land of waves to the other nations. However, the work was frequently impeded by a group who did not look with favor upon the project. Team 7 made the decision to guard the bridge through its completion. It was then that two strange characters emerged and drew them into a fierce battle. This duo consisted of Zabuza Momochi, one of the seven ninja swordsmen, and Haku, a young disciple of Zabuza who possessed considerable powers himself. 
Although Naruto felt a sense of ambivalence toward Haku, who he could see was being used as a mere tool by Zabuza, for the sake of his friends and his beliefs, he steeled his resolve and challenged Haku alongside Sasuke. Now that I'm here, everybody's gonna be fine! <laughs> They almost died in that fight, I swear. Like, I swear they almost died. Don't hold us back, Sasuke! That's what you're here for, loser. Ah, here I come! Oops. Let me do it. I fight for someone who is precious. All right, let's go. Fujitsu done three times. Death for him. So his dream may become reality. I'll defeat him. Dash. Dash. Oh, she's finished. See ya, bud. Let's go. As soon as she, uh, as soon as Haku used that last. In the midst of heated oh. combat, Sasuke awakens Sharingan. A special visual jutsu, only accessible to the Uchiha clan, turning the battle in their favor. Why? Why did you save me? I didn't ask you to! I don't know. My body just moved. There was no time to think, loser. Witnessing this tragedy, Naruto flew into a violent rage, awakening the power of the nine-tailed fox sealed within him and unleashing an attack that overcame Haku. What's happening? I'll never forgive you! for this kid. Sabuza. Alrighty, surely oh, Naruto is now level two. Come on. Um, what, what reaction are we going for? We're going, we're going for this one. Ah, I see. I think everyone's just gonna get to pick the first one. <laughs> Yep, yep, titles, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Let's go, let's keep it going, man, let's keep it going. Keep it rolling, keep it moving, keep it going, keep While it going. While Naruto and oh. Sasuke were occupied with Haku, Kakashi was also locked in mortal combat with Zabuza. A faker like you could never beat me. For the land of waves and its future, I'll put an end to you. Your future holds only one thing, death. Wow, we're gonna fight Zabuza. Finish enemy with secret technique. Cool. Zabuza, we'll do our best. You can't defeat me. I fight because of my ambitions. You're too dangerous. I'll have to stop you here. <laughs> Here I come! Let's go! Keep it going! Here I come! Zabuza, you got a little too ambitious. Oh, keep it going, keep it going. Let's get this over with already. Why can't I keep up? You can't beat me in your current state. Here I come! Farewell. Alright, now let's go for it. I don't know if- I don't know what the range is. No, no I didn't get there in time. Oh, he walked into it. Okay. Your ambition will create lots of sacrifices. That isn't something worthy of a ninja. Twin lightning shiver! Haven't seen that in a while. In a fat while. 
Alrighty. Good stuff. As Kakashi lashed out with the finishing blow, Haku threw his body in between them, sacrificing his life to protect his master. When a person has something precious they want to protect, then they become genuinely strong. Haku walked his own ninja way until the very end. Just then, Gato, Zabuza's employer, arrived on the scene with a large band of outlaws. Having no further use for his two underlings, his plan was to murder them along with all of Team Seven. As a gesture of gratitude for the empathy that Naruto had displayed toward Haku, Zabuza expended the last of his remaining strength to slay Gato. at my side. The least I can do is be beside you at the end. I know it cannot be, but I wish I could go where you have gone. As snow fell all around them like tears from heaven, Zabuza drew his final breath beside Haku's broken body. Watching these two shinobi live out their ninja way to the very end made a powerful impression on Naruto. I thought they were going to tell us what the impression was. Surely it's this one. Surely it's that one. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go, finally. Come on then, come on! Alright. This is going to be a fairly long video, but you know what? Who cares? Who cares? All these videos are going to be fairly long. It is what it is. It is what it is. Two weeks passed since the deadly battle within Zabuza and Haku. Before returning to the Hidden Leaf Village, Naruto and the others went to visit their graves. Sakura then asked Kakashi if they were following the true way of the ninja. Shut up. A ninja should never seek a reason to live, but rather serve as a tool for their country. All ninja live subconsciously aware of that fact. Hearing this answer from Kakashi, Naruto was greatly affected by Zabuza and Haku's way of life. He was determined to move forward in his own ninja way. Nice. Hi, Ninja Way. Okay, tune in exam, come on. The Hidden Leaf Village's tune in exam had begun. Naruto and the others passed test one, a written test, and headed off to the Forest of Death to take test two. The challenge awaiting them was capture the strolls, which could lead to death if things went sour. During this test, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura were attacked by a particular ninja, a peculiar, sorry, peculiar ninja known as Orochimaru. Naruto was knocked out and Sasuke was brained with a curse mark from Orochimaru before losing consciousness. As Sakura was frantically tending to Naruto and Sasuke's wounds, they were attacked by sound ninjas. Team 7 was plunged into a desperate situation. But Sasuke awoke, suddenly using the power of the curse mark to drive back the enemy. Of course, Sakura can't do anything. Ooh, alright, this will be this will be in the actual final tuning exam, I think. The Chunin Exam, an event jointly coordinated by the Hidden Leaf, Hidden Sand, and other neighboring nations to bring their Genin together to be tested. However, in truth, its primary purpose was to allow each nation to demonstrate its military strength in a small-scale mock war. The three friends, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, successfully applied the teamwork they had developed during their previous missions to pass the first and second tests. For their third test, they were matched individually against other ninja for the right to advance. Naruto was pitted against his ninja academy classmate, Kiba Inosuka. 
I'll never lose to the likes of you! Easier said than done. Let's see what you could do! Alright, uh, clear with over 60% health remaining, land a throw one time. I don't remember how to do throws. Oh, crap. You're my opponent? I've already won! One day I'll be Hokage, so losing here's not an option! I don't remember how to land a throw. You, Hokage, keep dreaming! Never underestimate me! I might have to look at the- come on. Um, command this, there we go. How do you do a throw? What's the throw? R2! Okay, that makes more sense. Ah, uh, that's, that's a bit poopy. That's a bit poopy for me, come on. I can't get this throw. Don't get too cocky! Damn it, the combo finished, I didn't... There we go. Alrighty. Now we can just finish him off as per. There we go. I don't think that's an S tier though. It's an A! It's an A! My health is too low! Oh. One day I'll be Hokage, so losing here's not an option! As the spectators watched the stunning upset unfold, they began to realize the extent of Naruto's ability. And so did Naruto. So, right, we'll come back to this later on. Like, I'll come back to this afterwards and, uh, yeah. We'll fix up the A. It's all good. We'll come back later on. We'll fix up the A. Ooh. There's actually a lot that happens here, eh? There is a lot that happens here. As the tuning exam. Oh, my bad. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Oh, god damn it. My bad. Naruto was matched against Neji Hyuga, considered the mightiest genin of the Hidden Leaf. Neji had completely dominated Hinata Hyuga in the preliminaries. But after being ridiculed with the phrase, once a loser, always a loser, Naruto vowed to avenge the insult leveled against him and Hinata. gonna win now you'll learn the hard way that no one can alter fate all righty 15 hit combo okay that's an, that should be an easy one you can't defeat me it's not your destiny not losing to some coward who goes on about destiny or whatever I look forward to your look of despair when you realize the truth. It's not too shabby. Not losing to you of all people. Not a chance. Let's go. Easy claps. Easy claps. Alrighty. That was a quick one. Unbelievable. How could I? Don't give me that crap about nobody changing fate. What a bunch of garbage. Because unlike me, you're no failure. It was Neji who once said, one can't change destiny in reference to the fate of a Yuga clan's branch house. 
But drawing inspiration from his fight with Naruto, he began to believe that he could, in fact, alter his destiny. That's nice. That's very, very cute. Surely he's, Naruto's now level 3? Or not there yet? He's not there yet. Alright. Ah, uh, yes, the destruction of the hidden leaf. Absolutely. All right. Um, do we want to wrap? Do we want to? This is gonna be a really, really long first episode, but I think I, I think I'm just, I literally think I'm just gonna continue with this arc, like this whole arc. Getting in the uh, getting other than those Team Seven were also performing quite remarkably in the tuning exam. Rock Lee, a member of Team 3, used Superhuman Taiju 2 to clash with Gaara in the Hand in the Sand, while Tenten summoned a ninja tool and fought her opponent tenaciously. Bro, Rock Lee's fight was amazing. By clashing with Naruto, Neji came to realize that he could alter his destiny. Kiba of Team 8 showed an impressive teamwork with his ninja hound Akamaru, while Shino Abumari used a ninja suit. Ah, oh, damn it. Although Hinata lost Neji, Naruto's support helped her fight through the very end without giving up. Shikamaru Nara of Team 10 brought brilliantly, uh, brilliantly in ingenuity while Choji Akamaru used a secret taijutsu to go on a violent rampage. You know, Yamanaka fought well against Sakura, blah blah blah. By fighting their own way through the training exam in this manner, these gaining of the hidden leaf accumulated a great deal of experience. Facts, I agree, 100%. If anyone hasn't seen that Rock Lee fight, it is incredible. Like, still one of the best anime fights, like in Naruto, hands down. I'm very excited with this one. The sudden conflict was an unprecedented disturbance for the Hidden Leaf. Hirozin Sarutobi, the third Hokage, faced off against Orochimaru amidst the raging maelstrom. As one of the legendary Sanin, Orochimaru had once been his student. Orochimaru's goal in inciting the conflagration was to bring about the destruction of the Hidden Leaf by his own hand. He also hoped to abduct Sasuke in order to use his superior body as a reincarnation vessel. To defeat Hirozin, Orochimaru employed the forbidden reanimation jutsu to summon the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju, and the second Hokage, Tobirama Senju. His aim was to instigate a fierce battle between Hokages. Interesting fact, there's an odd sense of joy in wounding the one you once called master. You're feeling that now, are you? In a moment, I'll let you taste some of that same sweet thrill yourself. Finish with a secret technique, defeat or draw. Okay, cool. No! Orochimaru is reanimating them? This is terrible! Disrespecting the dead and manipulating time! Ah, oh, I left that one a bit too long. Oh, that was not good at all. That is not good. How do you like that? 
not let you escape. Crushing the leaf village. But I didn't know the sand were on the moon. Uh. Also part of your plan? History is always progressing. Sort of Come on, hit. Anything Come on, bro, just hit it. Just hit it. Hit it. Yeah! Oh, no, that... Damn it. Damn it. Orochimaru had too much health, eh? That's not gonna finish. Oh, look, so close! Oh. Nothing's over till the end. Surely, surely, surely. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> ah, sucked in. Ah. I don't think that's an A, though. You're steeped in darkness, and I will punish you accordingly. Sorry, I meant C. I mean, I mean S, S, S. It's not an S. It's all good, though. It's all good. We'll come back to it later on. But it is what it is. Let's go. Yeah, it's an A. Damn it. It's all right. We'll come back later on. We'll get an S on it. Your dream of crushing the hidden leaf dies here. You feeble old man! Give me back my arms! How dare you take my jutsu from me! Farewell, Orochimaru, my disciple. And so the plan to destroy the Hidden Leaf failed. All ninja of the Leaf had put their lives on the line in the fight to protect the village and thwart Orochimaru's foul scheme. Where the tree leaves dance, one shall find flames. The fire shadow will illuminate the village, and once again, tree leaves shall bud anew. Alrighty. Um, I don't know. Okay. Easy enough. Easy enough. All right. There's a couple more that we're gonna do here. Uh, three more to be exact. Well, yeah. Four, three. Yeah. Sure. 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 In his desperate battle with Sasuke during the tuning exams, Gara had flown into a nearly uncontrollable rage. In order to protect their ultimate weapon from himself in his disturbed state, Sand Ninja intervened to escape with Gara. Sasuke pursued them fervently, finally overtaking them in the Hidden Leaf Forest. I am not letting you get away. I'll give you a taste of true fear. Oh, defeating Gar. Okay, land secret technique one time. Okay. I'll take on anyone to test my strength. Show me your power. Let's go, let's go. Bam. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to dash away like that. What's wrong? Take him away, let's go. Go on, entertain me more. Oh, that was sick. That was that was well timed. Pushing your... uh, let's try and finish him with a secret technique. Let's go! This outcome was inevitable. Bang, come on. 
That's what I like to say. Yes, come on. Using Chidori, a devastating ninjutsu taught to him by Kakashi, Sasuke confronted Gara. However, Orochimaru had placed a terrible curse mark upon Sasuke. He suddenly found himself unable to move. Hold it right there! Naruto, what are you doing here? Just as Gara's sand attack was about to strike, Naruto rushed in just in time to save his friend. Cool, good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's keep it moving, lads, keep it moving. 15 minutes, oh my god, is this going to be like, is there going to be a boss fight? Is this going to be a bigger fight? Please, surely. In the same way as Naruto, Gara hosted within his body a one-tailed spirit known as Shukaku. The only bonds that Gara shared with others were shackles of hatred and murderous rage. And in his eyes, combat was only to be undertaken with the intent to kill or be killed. As Naruto fought for the sake of his friend, Gara fought for himself only. Thus began a confrontation between two shinobi who had endured similar challenges yet reached opposite conclusions. I'm gonna crush you and all your little friends too. My friends are everything. I'll protect them to the end. Oh, snap. All right. What am I doing with this? What am I doing with this? Attack Shikaku's arms. I don't believe you see what I'm The battle conditions are in the way. I can't see. No, that's not fair. I can't. That's not fair. I couldn't see. I couldn't see. This is not good. This is not good at all. I don't know what to do. Jesus. Oh, there we go. Getting hits, getting hits. Getting hits. Right, back away, back away. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep going. Oh, just avoid it. Go at it, go at it. Go on it! Jeez. What's the matter? It's terrifying, honestly terrifying. Go at it! Go at it! Go at it! There we go, there we go. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh, I got hit. Everything. Literally got hit by everything. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, come on. Oh. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Big hits, big hits. 
Oh god. This is terrifying. This is bad. That was close. Oh wow. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, boy, let's go. Yeah. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Yup. Yup. Big hit. Huge hit. Do not mess with me. I'm not going anywhere. Fly high. Wind style air force. Jesus. No, get up there. What? Took him ages to get up there. Why? You won't get away. Oh no! What? I was right at the edge. Oh, that's not fair. Oh. Come on, let's go. Let's go. No. No. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Let's go. Come on. Keep going. He's on his last legs. Keep going. He's on his last legs. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep going, yep. Surely this is it, surely. Surely. Come on. Yep, 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 come on. Surely this is the finishing one. Damn it, it's A. It's alright, it's all good. It's all good. Nobody. Wind style air bullets! Oh my god. Let's go. Big hits. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Yeah. Big oof. Big oof. Come on. It's almost unbearable, isn't it? The feeling of being alone. But I have people in my life now who are important to me. I care more about them than I do myself. And I won't let anyone hurt them. Yeah, buddy, big fight. Alrighty, that was huge. That was great. Digging into his final ounce of strength, Naruto caught Gara flush on the cheek with a full force blow. But it was not hatred that was behind the attack. It was the sympathy that only one who had shared similar experiences could express. I know that feeling. I've been there, in that dark and lonely place. Do this for anyone but yourself. 
Because they saved me from myself, from my loneliness. They were the first to accept me for who I am. They're my friends. Friends. I see. So that's where his strength comes from. Knowing well the suffering of solitude, Naruto was able to empathize with Gara's feelings to a painful degree. And yet, Naruto now had important people in his life who accepted him, so he could not overlook Gara's aggression. Witnessing the power of love firsthand, Gara cast aside his bloodlust and departed with the aid of the other sand ninja. He left hoping that he too could emulate Naruto one day. Hey, it's okay. We'll like, like, like we'll come back to it. Um, yeah, we'll come back to it eventually. We'll come back to all of these. I say every time. We'll come back to all of these and make all these S, S's. Okay. Oh, you found a page about life. Interesting. Oh, wow. That is cra- What? You can do that? I didn't even finish this. Alright, we'll finish this off. And that should be everything for this Genie arc. Two days have passed since the great upheaval caused by the destruction of the leaf. A funeral held for Hiruzen who was loved and respected by all. While those in attendance mourned Hiruzen's death, Naruto asked Iruka why someone would risk, their, would risk their life for another person. Everyone has something important to them, and, and as time passes, the thread that formed the, their bond grows thicker and stronger. When you have such threads, you are willing to risk your life for that person. Not based on logic, but love. Even though this comp this moment of grief, hearing Iruka's answer helped Naruto come to an understanding. The will of fire is so clearly clearly apparent in Hiruzen's way of life would be passed down to his successors. Facts. So true. Dude, bang. That That is the first chapter done. So have eight more chapters to go, and that's pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's like the longest one, basically. That one's 14, this one was also 14. It's it's joint longest, I think, 14. Not including the battles, just the episodes. But anyways, um, I think I'll leave it at that for, for this time around. And next episode, we'll go through the Chasing Sasuke arc, which shouldn't be too much longer. It's only 12 episodes, so it's all good. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if you've managed to stick around to the end, I appreciate you so much because this is such, it, it, I know this is such a long video and it's unusual for my channel to produce this long of a video, but, uh, yeah, this is honestly where my interest is and I love it so much. So, yeah, I, I haven't asked this recently, but please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, it means a lot. I appreciate it so much. See ya!